So every Christmas, my grandma would, she used to make me a sweater every single year. Granted, it wasn't always the most fashionable thing on the face of the planet. I would wear it just because I loved it because she made it for me. It was her hands that sewed this warmth, this piece of cloth that would keep me warm during those frigid winter nights. And then one day, when I was little, I was about maybe six, seven, there was this little piece of thread that stuck out. And I just slowly kind of kept pulling on it. And I just had so much fun, and it just kept unraveling. And before I realized it, this wonderful, warm sweater that I absolutely loved, it was nothing. It was this pile of thread just kind of thrown together. And I was pretty upset. Um, war is very similar to this sweater that I meaninglessly unraveled when I was six, seven years old. Marengo describes in her poem, Fire with Patrol, the, how war, it's, it's the very unraveling of the fabric of society that doesn't recognize its own boundaries, that once you start pulling on that thread, chaos ensues, corruption runs rampant, and women, children, men are forced and subjected to a cruelty that we can't even comprehend in the society that we live in ourselves. I couldn't run with the others, a 15-year-old Congolese war victim. After the militia man jams his gun, shots ring out. Is there a known to do in East Congo? The lucky women run, clutching firewood toward the sunlight they hear a fallen child tear in two after the militia man jams his gun inside her. Girls with fistula, stunned, turned, shamed, are reduced to soil and bruise in East Congo. The lucky women run away from the forest while some mother's son steps up to make his war crime debut. After the militia man jams his gun, hard inside her, he stands there, stunned watching the fresh ribs in her flesh ooze. In East Congo, the lucky women run to cook dinner another night for their loved ones. The fistula outcasts, far removed, observe a feral truth. After the militiamen jam their guns deep in East Congo, only the lucky women run. Only the lucky women run. When I first read this poem, I was kind of confused because I felt like she was trying to convey a metaphor about rape and then at the same time she was also conveying to the readers, us, ourselves, that there was also this physical abuse that was just running rampant throughout East Congo that nobody was able to step up or take care of. One thing that I noticed was, I had never heard of it before, but her poem is in the structure that is traditionally called a villanelle. The purpose of that structure is to invoke passion, is to create awareness about a situation that is occurring. Um, each time, it's like peeling back an onion. Each time she uses the repetition, such as the militia man jams his gun, then the militia man jams his gun deep in East Congo. Um, it appears it's, she is unveiling another layer in her story, in the story of East Congo. Marengo doesn't just use these women to represent and focus on the women themselves that are potentially being harmed, raped. She's using it, she's using them to explore and convey that these women represent East Congo itself. They are the mothers of East Congo. They're the ones who bore these sons who are now committing these atrocious war crimes, the, their war crime debut. You, can't, you can only imagine how that must feel to know that maybe it's the very son that they helped raise themselves is now off committing this crime, injuring these women, Scaring men, children, 
in a place where there is no safety, no matter what refugee camp they make, this firewood that they have to go collect, that is their lifeline. There is no other choice. They either leave or they die to collect that firewood. Without it, they have no food, they have no warmth, they have no safety, they have no chance of making it to another day. These women, these men, these children are faced with a society slowly unraveling in a chaos that can't be contained now that it's gone. That sweater that I used to wear that kept me warm, gave me a feeling of safety and security, is just gone. Only those lucky women run to make it another day to cook for their loved ones once more.